Distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, at this critical juncture of human history, collective action on health and economic recovery is indispensable. We, the members of the international community, are compelled to act swiftly as a large section of humanity falls into the abyss of poverty and unemployment. The cost of inaction would be too much to bear in the aftermath of the pandemic. We must invest in human well-being, promote a globally coordinated response, and build resilience to future shocks. We can achieve this objective by working as one team with one vision and one goal. One team that shares knowledge and builds capacity. One vision that ensures support for the poorest and most vulnerable communities. And one goal to create jobs, lift the poor out of extreme poverty, and invest in green recovery. At the Islamic Development Bank, we have a track record in providing development solutions through Islamic finance, South-South cooperation, and infrastructure development. We have allocated $4.5 billion to support economic recovery in countries affected by the pandemic to help them build back better. As a member of the international family, we believe that improving global governance is a collective responsibility. Hence, we extend our hands to our partners to overcome the menace of poverty and inequality for a sustainable future for all. Thank you very much.